In the last five years, we have seen an important success of smartphones, which have become today a primary way for people to access the Internet. This also had a significant impact for the travel and tourism industry, as people are today more and more using their smartphones to look for information for their trips and also to do their bookings. For the next years, we expect an important success also for smart TVs, as smart TVs will increasingly offer TV viewers possibilities which are quite similar in a way to the one they can find in smartphones. And therefore, it will be possible for uh, TV viewers to use applications uh, through their TV. And also, it will be possible for them to use uh, the internet and uh, access web links through their television. This means uh, very interesting opportunities for travel companies. For example, it will be possible for people watching a travel program to immediately book uh, a trip to that destination or the travel service they just uh, saw. And this means that companies will be able to benefit from the emotional connection with the TV viewers. Uh, a new trend has emerged in the Americas where consumers are beginning to travel to destinations which were previously off limits. The likes of North Korea, Myanmar, Cuba and Libya are amongst those favoured by um, travellers. There is quite a lot of development from uh, um, the government um, in the US and um, Cuba as well that has um, you know, motivated travellers to um, travel to those destinations. Um, the US government, for example, um, eased the visa requirements for um, travellers to go to Cuba for academic, religious and other uh, non-governmental uh, purposes. North Korea, on the other hand, has allowed um, travellers since um, 2010, the American travellers, to go to the country at any time for more than five days. In Myanmar, um, US and Myanmar diplomatic relations have been um, boosted since uh, 2012. The change of the political scenery in Myanmar, uh, which is expected to further boost um, travel to that um, country by 2016, of uh, recording 71% uh, growth. Um, in particular, uh, Euromonitor International believes that the baby boomers will be triggering um, those trends, um, that trend to um, uh, those destinations. Um, simply because they uh, prefer um, adventurous traveling, um, they have more time uh, at their hands um, and um, financial capabilities. Nigeria's film industry, known as Nollywood, is going through a phase of growth and development and has a great potential to strengthen the country's tourism industry. Nollywood is the second largest industry in the world in terms of volume producing over 2,000 films a year, goes ahead of Hollywood and just behind Bollywood. Nollywood films are very popular, and not just locally, but also with many African countries, and is increasingly becoming more popular with the African diaspora, countries like the US, UK, and South Africa. There are quite a few current projects um, taking place at the moment in Nigeria such as the Abuja Village Film, the Plateau Film City, and the Lagos Film City. These settings will provide more than film, audio, and TV facilities. The popularity of Nollywood films would be a major growth driver, not just for leisure tourists, with many fans wanting to visit the site locations, but also it will be very popular within the business tourists as this industry grows strongly economically.